Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we will discuss about different type of rolled steel sections used in structural engineering. Number one is rolled steel beams. It is also called I beams. The shape of the beam is like I. This is called flange and this portion is called web. You get all the properties of the beams and other sections from hand steel handbook SP 6 1964 I will show you that this is width of the flange it is called BF this is the depth of the section this thickness of the flange is called TF it is you see this varies here to here so this TF is calculated at a distance half of this distance. So if this, uh, this is the wave, thickness of wave is TW, then this distance is BF by 2 minus TW by 2 into 1 by 2. So B minus BF minus TW by 4. So at a distance BF minus TW by 4 from the face of the web, the thickness of the flange is calculated. It is TF. And you see this, there is a round shape here and here. So these are some radius. This is called R1, R2. R1 is root radius and R2 is toe radius. And this type of steel beams are designated with different names like ISJB with the depth, ISLB depth, ISMB depth. So this is uh, Indian Standard Junior Beams, Indian Standard Lightweight Beams, Indian Standard Medium Weight Beams, Indian Standard White Flange Beam and Indian Standard Heavy Weight Beam. Suppose your beam is ISMB 350, it means the depth of the beam is 350 millimeter. And if you know the depth of the beam, then all the properties of these beams, BF, TW, TF, all can be found from the handbook SP6. Let's have a look of the handbook. This is the handbook for structural engineers. SP. 6-1-1964 Lots of tables all having the properties of the beams. Suppose this is a rolled steel beam and you see these are designation ISJB 150, IS 175 and all the other detail weight, unit weight, sectional area depth of the section, width of flange, thickness of the flange, moment of inertia, radius of gyration, all things are given. And in the next page, you can find out section modulus, root radius, toe radius, slope of flange. Slope of flange is this angle. This angle is called slope of flange. Connection details, maximum size of the rivet, all can be found out from this table. Now coming to the second type, rolled steel channels. Channels means it is shaped like this. Here this is the flange, width of the flange, thickness of the flange, thickness of the wave, depth of the section, this is root radius, this is toe radius and as this is a unsymmetrical section so CG is not at the midpoint the CG will be somewhere here this CG can be found out from the SP6 suppose let us let have a look this is the channel section table and you can found at the center of gravity here it is showing CYY CYY means this distance this 
is y y axis this is x x or you can say z z axis so this is c y y this value is given in sp6 and the this value is d by 2 position of center of gravity is given here so it is rolled steel channels now coming to the next which is rolled steel angles angles are of two types one is equal angles another is unequal angles angles are designated as the this leg distance and this thickness suppose this is 90 this is also 90 and this thickness is 8 mm so uh, angle is designated as angle 90 98 or you can in the code it is written as IASA 90-98 and for unequal angles suppose this is 90 this is 60 and this distance is 8 so it can be written as IASA 90-68 or you can also write as like this all these properties can be found out from SP6 you see this is a rolled steel equal angles designation you see IASA 2020 size 2020 and there are two different thickness available 3 and 4 sectional area unit weight CG all are given and for unequal angle all the values are given here coming to the next there is T bars T bars are like like this you see this is the t-bar it is designated as ISNT, ISHT, ISJT, ISLT like this it is designated as ISLC, ISJC, ISMC like this all here you have to put the depth there are other sim uh, types of roll steel sections I am not going into detail have a look from the SP6 there are uh, sheet and strip steel bars steel flats bulb angles plates and there are diff uh, an important type it is hollow section hollow section looks like this this is a square hollow section, circular hollow section, rectangular hollow section like this. The properties of these hollow sections are not in SP6. We will go into details of this hollow section later in this series and also tell you how what code you should use for hollow section. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, give your comments in the comment section below. Thank you, happy learning.